Hello there. We all know that language is made up of sentences and there are different types of sentences in every language. In English too, there are different types of sentences. We shall be doing in this presentation the three different types of sentences, namely simple, compound and complex sentences. So let's proceed. We have to understand this very carefully in order to be able to do the transformations later of these three sentences. So let's start. Let us first revise sentence structure and also clauses because if we do not know the sentence structure as well as what clauses are and the relationship between the two, then this it is not possible to understand simple compound and complex. Look at the first sentence, birds are flying high. Are there two main parts of a sentence here? All right. What, the, what are the two main parts of the sentence in this? All right. There is are flying, which is a verb. And you have an entire second part, which is are flying high. And that is called a predicate. So predicates always begin with a verb. So therefore, what the predicate tells us about the subject and in this sentence, the subject is the birds. So every sentence has a subject and a predicate. This is a conclusion that we should be having from this sentence. That is every sentence has a subject as well as a predicate. Predicates always begin with a verb. Take a look at this sentence. She is the girl who won the medal. All right. So here there are two sentences. If you see, there are two major sentences or groups of words which are joined together. Let's see the two groups of words. She is the girl is the first one in which you can see very clearly the subject and the predicate. Subject is she, is is a verb. So is the girl is the predicate. Let's take a look at the second part. In the second part again, we can see that one is a verb and therefore subject is who and one the medal is the predicate. Now here we can see that there are two groups of words in which both the groups consist of subject as well as predicate. Now it's understood therefore that these both the groups of words are clauses. All right. Now, the second one, you have already learned about clauses. And if you have not, you may go uh, to our channel. You may subscribe to our channel wherein we have a full presentation on the clauses, the concept of clauses and the types of clauses. Anyway, who won the medal is a clause as well as she is the girl is a clause. All right. Now, who won the medal has a subject and predicate. She is the girl also has subject and predicate. And now what we are seeing is every clause has a subject and a predicate. Now, if you see here, every sentence has a subject and predicate. And here, every clause has a subject and predicate. So what does it mean? That means every sentence is definitely a clause. Yes, every sentence is definitely a clause from the blue uh, boxes that we have here, we come to a conclusion that every sentence is a clause. However, the question to be asked here is, is every clause a sentence? That is to be understood. Every main clause is a sentence. Since it makes sense and it is independent, it can stand on its own and therefore it is a sentence. But Every subordinate clause is not a sentence simply because though it has subject and predicate, it does not make sense when it is on its own and it is dependent on the main clause. So this we have understood that every sentence is a clause, but every clause need not be a sentence because a sentence should necessarily make complete sense. Okay. So now we move on to learn the types of sentences. So what are the three types that we are going to learn? It's a simple sentence, compound sentence and complex sentence. So let's look at each one in detail. Now see the sentences. Take a look. The children had a wonderful picnic. The children had a picnic and it was wonderful. The children had a picnic that was wonderful. 
Now, I just saying it, I'm taking the liberty of saying that the first one is a simple sentence, the second one is a compound sentence, and the third one is a complex sentence. Well, why it is so, you will understand in the future slides. See this. The children had a wonderful picnic. Okay, so what do you see here? There's a subject, that is the children. And had is a verb, so therefore it is a predicate. Had a wonderful picnic is a predicate. You have one subject and one predicate in this sentence. So therefore, this sentence which has one subject and one predicate or all those sentences that have simply one subject and one predicate, they are called simple sentences. Okay, so we have understood simple sentences. Let's look at what is a compound sentence. See here. Here we can very clearly see two groups of words. Okay, the children had a picnic. It was wonderful. Now, if you see both these sentence, both these groups of words can stand separately as independent sentences also. The children had a picnic. It was wonderful. However, I'm joining the two of them using the word and. And what is this and? This and is nothing but a conjunction. Anyway, the children is the subject here. Had a picnic is a predicate. It is a subject here. Was wonderful is the predicate. And you have a coordinating conjunction here. So, what we can very safely say here is that these are this is a full sentence, yes, but it has two subjects and two predicates, then it has two proper main clauses, two proper sentences that are joined by a coordinating conjunction. So, you see here, two simple sentences joined by a coordinating conjunction and that is called a compound sentence. Let's now, let's see the third type. The children had a picnic. That was wonderful. So, here let us identify the two groups of words and let us see whether they make complete sense. Okay. Now, the children had a picnic. Now, the children is the subject and had a picnic is the predicate. Now, let us take a look at the second part. That is, that was wonderful. Now, that stands for the word picnic. Okay. So, it is a subject and was wonderful is a predicate because was is a verb. Also, the word that acts as a subordinating conjunction. So, now let us understand here that the children had a picnic is a full simple sentence that can stand on its own. But that was wonderful. Cannot stand on its own. It is dependent on the word picnic which is in the main clause. So, it cannot stand on its own. Therefore, one simple sentence or the main clause and one dependent clause together form the complex sentence. All right. So, if you have understood this, this is the, uh, the concept of three types of sentences. A simple sentence has one subject, one predicate. A compound sentence has two simple sentences, that is one subject, one predicate, one subject, one predicate. So, two subjects, two predicates and they are joined by a conjunction. Similarly, the third one, the third one is a complex sentence in which there is only one main clause because it can stand on its own and it has one uh, subordinate clause or a dependent clause. All right. And they are put together. It is called a complex sentence. So, now that we have understood, we'll look at some more examples. So, simple sentence has one subject, one predicate. That is, it is one entire main clause. Look at the examples here. One by one, the birds are so beautiful. So, the subject is birds and are so beautiful is the predicate. Having completed her work, she went to the park. All right. So, went to the park is the predicate because went is a verb. But see, if you make the sentence properly, if you write it, it say she went to the park having completed her work. So, went to the park is the predicate. In spite of working hard, she did not pass. So, did not pass is the predicate. Okay. And the subject is she. Raj and Ravi ate too much. Now, Raj as well as Ravi ate too much. So, ate too much. You will say that I can see a conjunction and here. But this conjunction is joining two words and not two sentences. Okay. So, Raj and Ravi. All right. Ate too much. So, ate too much is the predicate. 
This evening, French police were out in force at key points around the city. So, were out in force at key points around the city is the predicate. So, you see how all these are predicates as marked by the letter P. Okay, so you have understood what are predicates. They always begin with a verb and the subject is the one which is preceding it. Okay, so this is very clear. These are all simple sentences. Now, let us see what are compound. A compound sentence has two simple sentences that is two main clauses joined by a coordinating conjunction. So, we see I am giving you a trick here to remember the various conjunctions that can be used here. So, fanboys which is nothing but F stands for, for A for and, N for nor, B for but, O for or, Y for yet and S for so. Let's see here. I was scared for it was getting dark. Okay. Because of instead of using because for. Okay. Next is they went to the park and played cricket. He did not read nor did he write. He ran fast but he missed the train. You may eat the pie now or keep it for later. She tried hard yet she failed. They worked hard so they succeeded. Alright. So these were all the sentences of the compound sentence. Now let's go ahead and see the examples for complex sentence. A complex sentence has one main clause and one subordinate clause that we have understood and if you have learned, if you have gone through the presentation on clauses then you would know that there are three different types of clauses, noun clauses, adjective clauses and adverb clauses. So, if you find any of these clauses in a sentence and you must close your eyes and write it's a complex sentence. Okay. I was only wondering how it works. I was only wondering what, how it works. So, it is a noun clause. He has a house that is palatial. He has a house that is palatial. There is no coordinating conjunction here. Alright, but there are two groups of words. He has a house that is palatial. Alright, now that is palatial is a subordinating clause or a dependent clause and it is an adjective clause because it is qualifying the noun house. She left because she was getting late. Alright, now because she was getting late, she left. Why? Because she was getting late. This is adverb clause of reason and it's a complex sentence. Okay, once more. Let's see some more examples. He said what? That he was unwell. So, it is a noun clause. The girl. Which girl? Who won the award is here. So, who the girl is here is the main clause. Who won the award is the adjective clause. Similarly, the next one, she came. She came when? When the party began. So, it is an adverb clause. So, sentences which have any of these three types of clauses would be a complex sentence. Alright. So, these are the three different types of clauses, uh, sentences that we have done. Hope you have understood. So, thank you very much for your attention.